What sort of self-sufficiency? Economic self-sufficiency, mm -hmm. political self-sufficiency, self-sufficiency in the field of health, mm -hmm. in the field of education. Mm -hmm. The lack of self-sufficiency. And how can the average American attain this, the self-sufficiency? By aligning with absolute self-sufficiency, a level of absolute self-sufficiency that exists in nature. Modern physics has discovered the unified field. That is the level of absolute self-sufficiency in nature, that the total potential of natural law is always self-sufficient. Nature of the unified field is self-referral. Mm -hmm. It's always self-referral. Absolute self-referral quality. This kind of self-sufficiency I would like to see rise in the consciousness of this great country. Can a country become too self-sufficient and begin to ignore or alienate other countries? What, what do you see if, when, you, when you see in the end self-sufficiency, but yet all these little areas of self-sufficiency, what will happen? How will they interact? One wealthy man in a village makes the village called a wealthy village. Mm -hmm. One light, one bulb in the room mm -hmm. makes the room lighted. Mm -hmm. One nation in the world really self-sufficient, fully supported by natural law, in complete alliance with natural law, will be so powerful in itself that it will radiate evolutionary influence all over. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Supported by natural law means everything in the country is evolutionary all the time, evolutionary all the time. A country within being evolutionary it radiates that life-supporting influence for all the countries around. That is my plan for the world. One country made self-sufficient. Life in one country starts to be lived in alliance with natural law and evolutionary influence will radiate all around. One lighthouse in the family of nations will take all the nations in the evolutionary direction. That 7,000 program is just for this. One country, and when I think of what country, I have two things in mind, either the most wealthy country like USA or take a very poor country. But in poor countries, I have not yet succeeded to the extent I have succeeded in the wealthy country. Wealthy country means alert mind, creative mind. They, they can understand on their own what is good, what is not good. And because of a technology of the unified field, is very scientifically proved and it's very practical and it's very simple. That is why I hope that the people of this country, creative as they are, would gather a group of 7,000, either in the schools or in industry or even in prisons, somewhere, and then that will be the shining star for the whole world. <laughs>